Oh, hell yeah, Julie. You look too cool for school. I am a fashion guru, okay? Payback is a bitch, Julian, and guess what today is? It's I buy my boyfriend's outfits! <laughs> Payback as in me getting you a wonderful couple of outfits <laughs> for, for no reason. A few weeks ago, I posted a video on my channel where Julian went and bought some clothes for me. It was really fun. I had so much fun making that, so I did it. I went and I bought you some clothes. Like the style icon that I fucking am, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna argue with the latter part of that statement, but I did a really good job, and you're glazing over that. You did, you really did a good job, and I was really proud of you. But I was excited to do this for you. It's a little bit easier, I feel like, cause you know. Shirt and pants. Yeah, with girls there's like skirts and dresses and all kinds of shit happening, but like, I had an easy time. And I barely vlogged when I was out in the world because I'm a little too timid to do that shit. You scared to vlog, pussy? Yeah, I am scared to vlog. I also don't know how you do that. They're, my hands are full of things. I can't also film myself. Whatever. Why don't you describe your personal style? Sophisticated. Okay, no. Elevated. No. Full of finesse. No. Athletic. There you go. Athletic. One accurate hold on, word. Hold on. Athletic, but business. <laughs> I feel like Julian has a couple of looks. One is very athletic wear. One is like jeans and a shirt or like a jacket. And then one is like pure tux. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like three looks. Yeah, three looks. You have three looks. This is like what Julian wears. Nice high socks. Ooh, the bot. Cool shorts, sneakers, hat. This is like what you look like every day. Unless you're going to jujitsu. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your fourth look, which is just a gi. Just in a gi. <laughs> so I went to the mall and I got you some looks that I think you would like and some looks that I think you should try. I want to be dressed like you a do. doll. Dressed like one of your French girls. Build me a dollhouse now. <laughs> it's, it's like 90 degrees out and she's wearing that giant ass jacket. Fuck yeah, him, bitch! No, look, no peeking. <laughs> so your first look is a total layup because it's something I think you would wear. Don't look yet. All right. I got you the this puma like jacket pullover thing. Let me know when I you can look. Okay. <laughs> oh hell yeah, right? boy! I think that that'll look nice. But this unlike you, listen. Fuck. <laughs> unlike you, I didn't just buy you shit. Okay, I bought you outfits. This is I buy my boyfriend's outfit. You forgot that part last time. It's okay, I love you. And then, because I like things that match, um, I got you these Puma pants too. So you can be real like- Dude, those fuck so hard. Yeah. Those are like I mean, parachute pants. They have like zippers on the side, so I don't know, like sometimes you have like your pants, you roll them up, sometimes you don't. So these I are got... dope. See how big you think I am. Oh, that's accurate. <laughs> big. Go try it on, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just I'm a fucking style guru, okay? I know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, this is cool, but you really outdid yourself with these pants. So. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> oh, I thought we were done. <laughs> this next outfit is like for when I want to see you, but I also, I don't want to fucking see you. I want you to just <laughs> get the fuck away from me. Again, because I like things to match. I got you this beautiful set of camo sweatpants and a camo t-shirt to go with it. Yo, these are soft as fuck. I know. Bitch, where'd you get these? At Bloomingdale's, bitch. Oh, you fighting. <laughs> this is like $30, <laughs> which I mean, yes, you could get this a lot cheaper at the Army Surplus store, but you know, I splurged because I love you. Thank you for splurging all over. <laughs> 
leave. You can't see me. Okay, I want you to put that on and then I want you to just fucking disappear. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Where, where the fuck are you? I said come out. <laughs> I can't even fucking see you. <laughs> where the fuck are you? <laughs> I mean, separately they probably are really nice. Do you like the pants? What's wrong with them show together? Me, show me. <laughs> ready? Yeah. I really like the pants and I do like the shirt, but probably not together. Why? I want to know what social rule says I can't wear this everywhere I go. It, like, it for some reason like, looks really wrong. <laughs> Head to toe camo, like, it really looks... What are you doing? Okay, now we're fucking talking! What do you think? I love them. You do? I disagree. <laughs> Wait, well, you just you... made them into shorts. I need more room to move. I think that's a pirouette. To be perfectly honest, I'll probably wear this all the time. Yeah? It's soft, it fits my body well, and I'm invisible. 10 out of five, love it. I know that you bought me a bunch of outfits for a step-grandparents barbecue. I bought you a bunch of clothes. It's tomorrow. Was so that you could truly just become the actual dad that you are. So I got you these beautiful- oh, don't say khakis. Khaki pants. Oh. God. They're beautiful. Uh, the brand is called Vineyard Vine. You're gonna go right to the vineyard. And I got you this amazing you did not. light blue polo so you could go to the golf course in it. It has a little whale on it. And then remember how you got me sunglasses? Well, I got you a present too, okay? I got you this beautiful fanny pack. Okay, this is the only good thing in this outfit. And hell yeah. <laughs> Oh fucking yeah. It's this pretty is nice. As right? dad as it gets. Alright, boy, go get dressed because we wanna see our dad. <laughs> oh fuck it. What is that? Oh hell yeah. Better get ready, we're gonna be late for school. Hurry up. Like, why don't you ever wear khakis? Those actually <laughs> You just asked me in mid <laughs> mid question and you start laughing. You look hot. Untuck your shirt a little, untuck it, just see what it looks like. I want it, don't, it's in there so tight, Julian, untuck yeah, it. Yeah, tuck it. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 untuck it. Put your fanny knife over your shirt. You look like you're going to Disneyland for the afternoon. You guys pack your lunches? Okay, <laughs> don't, stop making it weird. No, Julian. You know what, we're gonna be late for the parent-teacher conference and I will not have it. With like some brown shoes and a brown belt, boy, you'd be like the hottest thing on the golf course. Who are you trying to turn me into? I can't golf in these, look at this! Well, you put me in jeans and fucking pastels, so here you go, you're welcome. I see what you're doing, you're paying me back for the preppiness. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna call my agent. <laughs> Fire them. <laughs> Fire who? Them. Stop doing that with that shirt. <laughs> Oh, who you fighting? Oh, what is that? To be perfectly fucking honest with you, I don't even have khakis, not one single pair. I don't know how to wear them. I don't know what to do with them, what to put underneath them. I don't know what this business is. Yeah, they really do stick out. Is that because of my, my donk? Yeah, your donk's definitely hogging the fabric. Engage thick mode. <laughs> Would you wear the fanny pack? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it right now. So, for you- We had a business call. No, you don't. Did you give him the numbers? Send the projections. We sold our company. <laughs> I'm gonna take that pen back away from no, you. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm gonna hide snacks in it. Pizza. Wait, you're gonna be one of those dads with snacks in your fanny Hell bag? Hell yeah. There's like a Ziploc bag full of Cheerios in there. S spare the Ziploc bag. Cheerios going right in. Pile them in. Are you ready for <clears throat> your third outfit? <laughs> you got me a third outfit? So I wanted to get you an outfit that you could wear like when you're going out and just like you're ready to have a good time. Night on the town with the boys. What I got you was this. I got you a pair of jeans. Usually when you wear jeans, they're like, they're pretty tight, like all the way down to the ankle. You, like that style, yeah. you know? And like the ankles are pulled up or whatever. So I was like, you know what Julian's missing is a pair of jeans that shows more of your beautiful thighs. Oh my God. You have wonderful quads and why not just show them off a little? They're baggy. Your hammies can breathe, your quads can <laughs> breathe, your glutes can breathe. Thank you for thinking of my body. Nice and baggy, maybe you can roll them up if you want to, maybe not. So, this is what's gonna go on your bottoms. Again, very soft, because I know you care about fabric a lot, you like things to be soft. I got you a beautiful 
red flannel top. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so you can go get drunk in it. And then to go <laughs> to go on top of all of that, I got you a beautiful denim jacket. You're gonna put me in a Canadian now, tux? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I want just it's a nice jacket. It has like a, a rainbow on it. This is what made me buy it. It's like a really traditional looking jean jacket, but it has those nice little pieces of flare. Yeah, and I think it would look really nice with all your pins on. Oh, thanks. But I think it'll look super good with your nice jeans and your flannel shirt and your jean jacket. And then we can cover you in syrup and you can chop wood outside. I'll be the brawny man. Yeah. <laughs> you can sell me toilet paper. It's paper towel. Oh, shit. My bad. All right, come on out. Sell me paper towels. Okay, what the fuck? I hate to break it to you, but these aren't real holes. I'm, I'm like so disappointed. Where is your thigh? There's I'm, another layer of jeans. I came here for the thigh. I like, I was half kind of joking, but like, why does that outfit look so fucking good? Does it? Yeah, like, it looks, you look fucking good, though. Like, it doesn't look like a Canadian tuxedo at all. Does like, it? You kind of look fucking hot. They're actually not as loose of a boot cut as I thought they'd be. Yeah, they look kind of big. Yeah, they, they, I think I just got giant fucking hogs for legs. I like the jacket a lot. You do? It yeah. fits? Yeah, it fits perfect. The jeans are a bit different than the normal jeans I would wear, and I, I think that's good. Also, if you want to see the brawny man, I'll take off the jacket and show you the brawny man. Okay. I do really like that jacket. Oh, my. God. Is there like some porno music I can play and slow this down? No, I, I really like the shirt too. It looks so good on you. It looks so good with that beard too. Like you are serving right now. Julian, look at me. Oh my fucking God. I really like it. Okay, whatever you're doing, I want you to stop making me nervous. I kind of wanted to just like cover you in syrup, but my plan totally backfired because you look really good in it. How am I doing so far? You're doing honestly way better. I thought this was going to be a big troll job. Well, I thought I was trolling you, but like you look really good. So I did get you some last stuff. Remember how you got me my RAR shirt from Buffalo Exchange? Hell yeah. So I went to Buffalo Exchange and I got you a few tops and a hat. They're not full outfits. First one, Julian always makes office and part and rec jokes to me and I saw this and I actually got the reference because you're so fucking annoying about it but I got you a shirt that says I met Lil Sebastian <gasps> at the Pawnee <gasps> Harvest Festival you got me a Lil Sebastian shirt <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna fit it might be a Lil Sebastian, Sebastian his grace <laughs> this is probably worth a billion dollars bye bye Lil Sebastian this is my life every day Just emotional, okay? I miss Lil Sebastian. Do you like the shirt? I love it. I it's think it fits great. Small. I think it's a little big, honestly. This is my new favorite shirt of you all like time. It? Oh my god. I can't believe you bought me a Lil Sebastian shirt. What is that? Oh, what is it? I'm gonna take that shirt away from you. No, not allowed. It's mine. Is that like your favorite thing that I bought you so? It's my far? favorite thing that I own. Also from Buffalo Exchange, since you got me a RAR shirt, what well, I done got you a fucking RAR shirt. Oh, yes. This is great. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't he wear this shirt? He has a wolf one. Nothing that Shane owns looks quite like Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. How do you feel? I love it. Again, you missed the mark on sizing. It could be a little smaller, but I think, <laughs> I think we're working with something here. Turn around. Rar from the front and rar from the back. <laughs> this is what the fuck I'm talking about. This boy is fucking wild. Trade all of our stocks. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm yeah. gonna wear this under my gi as a rash guard. Yeah! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, 100%. Oh, shit. All right, the last thing that I got you from Buffalo Exchange is actually very Shane. Your whole wardrobe just lacks a whole lot of Cookie Monster, so. I thought that this would look really nice on you with this hat with like a, a VW bus on it. What is that hat? I don't know, boy. Oh, it's a Camp Vibe Dream Pop hat. <laughs> all right, I'm down. I love this hat, by the way. Do you really? I love this fucking hat. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm gonna wear this all the time. Why is it Ladies, good? ladies, can you tell me where the men are? <laughs> Sorry, <guys. laughs> Why does that like look kind of good though? I'm trying to fuck with you. Like you look cool. I like the shirt. Like your jeans look cool. Your fucking shirt looks cool. Your fanny 
have everything you bought me, I want to wear all at once. It really doesn't look bad. Was it supposed to look bad? I don't know. I love it. Ten minutes into Cookie Monster and chill, it gives you that look. I love all of the stuff you got me. Do you really? I honestly do. I thought you were gonna troll me, and I, I think you actually kind of tried to, but it didn't work. I, like, I thought everything. I was trolling you. I love everything. I got you a complete camo outfit and a Canadian tuxedo with a flannel shirt, and you look good in it. Sorry. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. I didn't think I was gonna have fun because I normally like, hate trying on clothes, but this is like none of this shit I would ever buy, which I think is cool because that's like what I did for you. Yeah. All the pants that I got you fit, even the khakis that you didn't like. Yeah, I'm honestly impressed. What's your what's your favorite and your least favorite that I got you? Favorite is Lil Sebastian. I'm gonna wear that without pants probably nine out of ten days a week. And uh, least favorite? The khaki pants. The khaki pants. <laughs> I fucking hate the khaki pants. <laughs> thank you for getting me khaki pants. I hate them, but thank you. <laughs> do you like your fanny pack? Don't do that. That's Why weird. can't I flap my pack? <laughs> Ladies, can you tell me where the boys are? <laughs> Silica. Don't do that. I don't want the dogs to get it. Peachy, you want a treat? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and congrats. Firm handshakes. Well done. Firm handshakes. Thanks. Kermit's licking my wrist. Well, you asked where the boys were at. That's true. Well, yeah, that's it. I mean, I thought that I was getting a little bit of revenge on you, but it turned out that all of that backfired on me because you looked really good and everything. But this was really fun. Yeah, this was It fun. was also, like, really easy for me to shop for you. I'm glad you had an easy time. You did it, like, half the time I shopped for you. What can I say? I'm a fucking fashion guru, bitch. Like, fuck with me. But that's it, though. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on reviews every Wednesday slash Thursday. Julian, this was really fun. This Thank was, you so much for letting me do fun. this. Thank you for getting me all this stuff. We're gonna link oh, uh, below the uh, official Lil Sebastian Memorial. No, song. we're not. No, yeah. we're not. Bye, bye, Lil I'm gonna take that shirt. And I'm gonna burn it when you're sleeping. Miss you inside. Kermit's licking you so loud right now. Bye. Kermit, stop. Dude, you're nasty. All right, see you next week. Bye. Bye.